Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Proto Tech Tip. And this week, I wanna walk you through a detailed comparison between copper bus bars and aluminum bus bars. So let's get into it. As an engineer, you understand the vital role that copper bus bars play in electrical power distribution. They are important in many different industries, including aerospace, renewable energy, automotive, and more. And at Protocase and Protospace MFG, we can manufacture bus bars using either copper or aluminum within our fast lead time of two to three days. To provide some background on the topic, the term bus bar originates from the Latin word omnibus, meaning for all in English. And this is kind of fitting as bus bars carry all of the current. Essentially, bus bars are metallic strips or bars used to distribute electrical power within a system. Their importance lies within their ability to efficiently transfer electrical power, offering low resistance and minimal voltage drop. Bus bars are typically made from conductive materials such as copper or aluminum, each with its unique properties and advantages. Understanding the differences between these materials is essential for selecting the right bus bar for your specific project requirements. So before we dive into the differences, it's important to remember that traditionally, copper was highly favored to build bus bars as it has superior electrical conductivity. Copper is also renowned for its durability, its strength, and its corrosion resistance. But recently, aluminum has also become a popular choice, especially for applications requiring lighter weight. A couple of other reasons why aluminum is becoming increasingly popular is because it is less expensive than copper and it's also more easily available. So because of those reasons, engineers are able to design larger bus bars more cost effectively using aluminum. We aim to examine five key factors that engineers typically consider when designing a bus bar. And these factors include conductivity, corrosion resistance, weight, cost, and fastener compatibility. So let's begin with conductivity. If you're looking for superior electrical conductivity, well then copper is the better choice. If you have two bus bars of the same size, one made of copper and the other made of aluminum, the copper bus bar will carry more current than the aluminum one. When it comes to corrosion resistance, copper once again stands out as the better choice. Although aluminum can be treated to improve its corrosion resistance, copper naturally is more resistant to corrosion. Aluminum though has its own advantage. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, aluminum is popular when applications require lower weight. Aluminum's lighter weight facilitates easier handling, particularly in larger installations. Another area where aluminum beats copper is when you're on a budget. Aluminum is usually cheaper than copper, making it a more cost-effective choice. And when it comes to fastener compatibility, copper is more versatile and has fewer issues with galvanic corrosion, making it the superior choice. But with proper handling and compatible fasteners, aluminum can also work well too. But in the end, if you have to compare the two, copper is the superior choice as it has higher electrical conductivity, making it ideal for efficient power distribution. However, if cost takes precedence over maximum electrical efficiency, aluminum will then become the budget-friendly choice, particularly in larger systems where material volume is substantial. At Protocase and Protospace MFG, our custom copper bus bars are made using copper alloy C110, which is designated in ASTM standard B152. On the other hand, while we stock many different aluminum alloys, 6061T6 is generally considered a favorable alloy to build bus bars. This is because it has a favorable combination of mechanical strength, corrosion resistance, conductivity, machinability, weldability, and also cost. The other alloys we stock include 5052H32, 7075T6, and 2024T3, and also the aluminum Alka 5. 6061 aluminum is challenging to bend and prone to cracking with small bend radii. Conversely, 5052 aluminum excels in bendability, but as mentioned earlier, is less conductive than 6061. Additionally, aluminum 7075T6, aluminum 2024T3, and aluminum Alka 5 are neither ideal for bending nor offer good conductivity. They are better suited for structural components due to their exceptional strength. So before selecting an aluminum type, carefully evaluate your project requirements to identify the best option for your needs. We can manufacture fully finished custom bus bars, both copper and aluminum, within our fast two to three day manufacturing lead time. 
And as always, there's no need to worry about meeting a minimum order. We can cater to your project specific requirements, whether you're prototyping or seeking high volume manufacturing. So if you're still undecided and want an expert opinion before making your final decision, feel free to reach out to us by sending an email to info at protocase.com. Our team will be happy to give you the best guidance possible. So that wraps up this week's Prototech Tip video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and share. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips dropping every Tuesday. So that's it. Until next time, take care.